Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to the Toolbox. We're out here on course with Piers. We're doing some pitching and chipping today, aren't we? Yep. Piers don't like these introductions, so we're going to get straight into it. Let's get into it. Right, show us a bit then. What have we got? 47? What? What? 47, oh, 47, 47 yards. yards, yeah. <laughs> and you've got 47 degree wedge, yeah? What do we do then? Play it as you would. You've hit a great drive, you're here, yep. you're 47 yards away, what do you do? Okay. Is this the club that you'd use? Yes, 58. Good. Oof. Oh, that a little funky one, weren't it? I can't do even a half swing with this. Right. As in it's gonna to go too far, so I'm trying to I think where you're landing it there, you just run the risk of doing exactly that. Yeah. Pitching it right into that slope and missing it. So I think two options that you've got here, if you go fifty eight I think you've got to land it on front edge at green. I think that's why that first one was so good. That first one's probably only about what, ten, twelve foot away? Yeah. But then, apart from that, I don't think we can be using 58, it's got to be 52, okay. 50, pitching wedge. Give it some run. Yeah. The other thing I do is I'll sometimes open it up. Okay, yeah, I, I'd, I'd be more inclined to do that if you're playing the flying all the way there one. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try that. Show a I think that's how I play this shot, just as normal. That look good. That's probably the only way you can leave it short at all from there, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty well played. You can see you was in bounce quite well. So you know on them occasions where yeah. you're a little bit ground first and it's still a pretty decent shot. That's the main thing I look for these days, you know. Okay. So yeah, but it's almost like a bunker shot. My yeah. weight forward mm -hmm. and you use the bounce. Definitely. Good that. The only thing you have to watch, I think, sometimes in your width for stance with a shot like this, I like to be really narrow. Yeah, I've seen I, your videos. I feel like from a narrow width for stance, there's my, my low point is only ever going to go to my right or left foot. I think as soon as you get wide, then you've Even got... Even for the flop shot? Yeah, definitely. Okay. I always, with my flop shot, go really wide yeah. stance. A little bit bouncy, is not it? If you do go wide, you just got to be so cautious or, or careful where your ball position is. It's got to be so central. That was good. That was a better strike, weren't it? Yeah. Good luck. Mind if I have a go? Mind if I throw a couple up there? I think when you go that high, you just take all ground out of it, don't you? Hit it that high, then. It's, it's knowing how hard to hit it. Isn't it? Got, yeah, I'm so aggressive through yeah. them, you know. I just go. Almost sometimes when I have a flop shot, I think. If I open the face to this extent, how far is a full swing going to go? Do you know what I mean? What, you, what loft do you reckon you're presenting there then? Ooh. 60 degree club and you're opening it up to what, 80? If I'm hitting a flop shot over 60, it'll probably come out about 60 degrees. Okay. I don't think it increases. The loft that I deliver might be in excess of 60, but launch angle will be a bit lower because it's spinning a little bit as well, isn't it? So, so I'm like very aggressive with swings there. But just really confident that I'm going to ground it properly, yeah. and I think that's that's where the narrowness of stance comes in from. Okay. Always when I play the flop shot, I'll go really wide and try and get really low, almost to slide. So, so you I think could, I, so I feel like, like I slide the club under it. This kind of a yes. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then I'm probably presenting. Okay. Loft mountain pointing a little bit left. Yeah. That's it. That's good. See, this is it. You know, soon as you start to use the bounce, you can be so aggressive because I know that I can be slightly off, and it's still all right. Okay. Wedges are mint, aren't they? There's no other club that helps you out more than a wedge. I would find the alternative option with this shot, the lower bumper one, harder. Harder to play, because I think I'm just not as confident with that, and I think when you look at the variability, you think, what kind of a bounce is it going to get if I pitch it there? I always think about stuff like that. I'd rather just cut middleman out, fly it all the way there, and you sound. Oh, God. Still, you can be more aggressive than that. Yeah. It's trusting it, isn't it? Yeah, of course. But look how good your strikes are. Super, that's a spinner, that. Spinny one, that oh, one. Oh, yes. Get that, get in. <laughs> Nearly hold that. For the past I'm time. telling you, that's close, that. <laughs> Super. 
The wicked then. Nice bounce as well. That could go in. Turn left then. <laughs> I thought about it. Is that licked out then? Okay, this narrow, narrow stance for the flop shots really worked. Yes. I said, I've watched you do it before mm -hmm. and thought, that doesn't, that's not how I play it. Yeah, but yeah, then yeah. I probably should trust you being professional and everything. So. Well, it's just, I, I, I just look for patterns in my game that work and hopefully translate them to what other people do. There's nothing to say that a wide stance where a flop shot don't work, you know. But you just got to be but so careful where, yeah, you, where you ground that club. More precise. When I go there, I feel there's more chance I'm getting there now. Okay. Whereas I so go I'm here, and I feel like it's I better. I get there. more weight on my front foot when I'm like that. I'm, I'm almost. That's probably to ensure that you don't go that. too far behind. So you're counteracting it quite well. Okay. But there's just, no need. Just cut the little man out. Yeah, I'll try, try a slightly wider one. Quite a bit diggy then, but still works out all right. That's your best one. Yeah, but that divot you scares should, me. You should play like that. I like to see it skim more than that. That was a scary one. I like to think that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm in my element now. I feel like thinness or something. Look at that. Get in that. Oh, I nearly slammed up. Ooh, really? Yeah, cool. Uh, Actually, we'll go and pick a few up and then we'll do some, yep. some slightly lower ones. Right, just up by the green quick inspection. Some really, really good shots there, you know. I think that's such a challenging shot, that, like a 47 yard pitch shot. Yeah. And we think about how firm ground conditions are. I really do like. Just lofting it up, trying to pitch it somewhere in this area that's about 10 yards short at pin and uh, limiting that release as much as we can. Good spread that. Right, so same shot now. We're going away from 58s and 60s. We're going to a 50. The aim of the game is to pitch it just before that slope and trickle it on. We're going to also do a contrast, like, like I've just shown you there, with the, like, the dispersion to see which one's more effective. I think flop shot could be the shot on this one. So where do you want to pitch it on? Into the bank almost? Just short. Just short of the bank? Yeah, right at the bottom of it. Pitched it too far, but I think just got away with it. That's what I mean about the bouncers. You get some crazy ones, don't you? I just don't trust grass. I think you've got less landing zone. I think yeah. You've got to be very precise. Definitely. That's my favourite thing about going high, you know, because you can literally pitch it anywhere from front of green to about 10 foot short, and you're still going to be all right, aren't you? It's just having that confidence in your technique, isn't it? Top tip for you, do you know if you're ever in a similar scenario and you ever see a bowl, you know, like you would on a Lynx course, I always aim for the middle of the bowl right. because if you pitch it short, it gives you a bit more and if you pitch it into it, it always takes a bit out. Yeah. Like if you pitch it left, it kicks it right, if you pitch it right, it kicks it left. Makes sense. So next time you play St Andrews, I'm up to find it. Right there, nice. Is that a good shot? I think that's gone in. That <laughs> <laughs> I'd be well annoyed if the roofing of these is a bit closer. Yeah. But then it tells us what tool to use in this situation, doesn't it? Did you it? see that run? I did. That was crazy, that. First bounce stopped it, second bounce kicked it on, didn't yeah. it? Just hit the lip of the fringe. You know? Did it? Yeah. That was a good shot. Yeah, but they run, don't they? You yeah, see they the way do. they they just pick up pace because it's so firm. Mm. They like a skid first bounce, yeah. don't they? They skid and then they just run, they don't bounce, a sec there's no second bounce. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh. oh, right, double whammy that one, weren't it? Pitched it too far onto <laughs> fringe. <laughs> yeah. And that was good. I would have said, Ooh. lipped out, lipped out, didn't it? <laughs> lipped out. And we're gonna, I was just going to say, I, I would have said that were a perfect landing zone. And it pretty much was. Interesting development. We, I think the closer ones are closer, the worse ones are further away. Yeah. So it depends whether you're being really aggressive on the day, I suppose, doesn't it? Do you not think it depends on bounce? So the ones where we've predicted it to do as it's done, they go really close. And the ones when we've perhaps hit good shots and got strange bounces, we've had one here. Yeah, I suppose the flop shot takes the bounce out of yeah. the equation, doesn't it? Yeah, I feel like you've just got more control. You've definitely got more control over what you're doing. On this batch, I felt like you controlled your landing zone really well and got unlucky when things out of your control didn't work for you. Yeah. You're giving yourself more chance to, for things to go wrong, landing it shorter. Yeah, I think so. You're just good at chipping. 
Right, so we've just circled around the green. We're now in this spot here. Bit of a tricky one. Tricky in one main sense, considering that the grass is growing away from us. And this usually causes more problems for, for most golfers. So I'll give Piers a couple of ideas and then I'm going to put the camera behind the hole so we can see how we get on. On paper, not that hard a shot, but grass growing into us, which I think makes it double yeah. difficult. How would you play grass growing into you? Just pound through. Yeah, literally, that's all it is, it's just speed. Because you're really good at controlling the bounce and out and, and using it, it's just speed. You proper cannot stop on these. Because if you stop, then it's warp yep. dead. So to me, I'm playing a 58 degree, landing it just after the fringe, probably let it run down. Second shadow. Probably. Can you see first shadow, mm, second shadow? I'd probably go first shadow. But that, then that's probably wrong. No, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Best thing about these chipping sessions is that it's like you can get it wrong but then it's knowing when you come up in a very similar scenario yeah. what kind of landing zone you need. Too short, weren't it? Look how much roll that it's had though. Like yeah. I, I'd be paying attention to that. So yeah. I think, what's it done? 20 foot? That's what I was saying about first shadow. Yeah. The greens are very firm and very fast at the moment. I think if you go second shadow, that's perfect length. You think? Especially with 58. Fine, let's see. Just past. And it's too far, isn't it? It's a little bit too far, isn't it? Tiny bit. Okay, you're right. I played it already today. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so now we've moved to the path. And in this part of the session, we're going to practice some low point control. So I feel like as soon as you're off the tightest of lies, your low point control really has to be so precise in order to put some really good shots. So we're not even necessarily thinking about getting it close to this flag. Because of the firmness of the greens, it's going to take something that pitches in the fringe and absolutely spins crazily to stop it. But this is all about controlling low point. And it'll give us a good indication as to whether you're too far behind or too far in front of it as well. So Nicely. I'm so sorry for sounding so surprised when you hit shots like that. <laughs> but like we just said off camera, you need more of this. Just focus practice, that's all it is now. You might have had skills in your toolbox that you never even thought of. They're nippy them, aren't they? I want a picture of that, he says. You know what, I can't blame you. Right, so to finish, let's have a little competition. Let's go three locations, one ball each. You pick two of the locations, I'll pick one of them. Right. Okay. My location will be last. Okay. Where do you want to go for the first one? Uh, okay. Just down here. Right, you, you pop two balls there and I'll, I'll set the camera up. Look at this, what is going on? Comment below, by the way, who's won that one? I think it's definitely Piers, but if for some reason you've, you've, oh. Okay then. <laughs> Last location, because I'm two nil down, the Astro Turf on the second, the mat, and we get two balls each. So okay. for two points, it's one. Fair enough. So I could scam a draw.
What have I done? I've created a monster. Hey, I played that really well as well. <laughs> So, moving forward now, I know we didn't get to like wedges and pitching, I know we did wedges, I know we didn't get to pitching tonight, yeah. but to nail down some distances, I think one of the next sessions that we do, let's get you a wedge chart sorted, mm -hmm. let's yeah. get half swing, full swing with everything, so yeah. you've got two different options, and then, well that, that were a bit of a masterclass there, yeah, I think you've done really well there, so yeah. hopefully you bring me the confidence, because I definitely would be value. Thank you. But, man. Yeah. Right, thanks ever so much for watching everyone, do the usual like, share, subscribe, and send me plenty of money if you've got it, that would be brilliant, thank you. Oh, 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 oh,